Hello. The government have declared a drought for southern and eastern parts of England, but the Met Office are warning of extreme heat this weekend and the risk of thunderstorms later. You might be wondering how all these things are related. Well, here's how. Let's deal with the extreme heat first of all. Another very warm day for parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, away from the north and northeast. But across England and Wales, it's the peak of the heat on Saturday afternoon with temperatures widely into the low to mid 30s and 36 Celsius possible for central and southern parts of England as well as East Wales. Now, we've seen these kinds of temperatures before in the UK. We've only this year seen temperatures higher than this, but they are still very unusual. We're also going to see some very warm nights, so not only do we have the hot air by day, houses have been heating up all week, there's little relief by night. And that kind of heat in a country where we don't have aircon in most buildings can cause health impacts. They can also cause impacts to infrastructure. We saw that in July with impacts to transport, to water supplies, to energy supplies. And that's why there's an amber warning for those hotter parts of the UK, and that continues until the end of the weekend. Now, it's not just this heat wave, nor previous heat waves this summer that have led to the drought. It is actually the culmination of the last nine months. Eight of the last nine months have been drier than average across the UK, but it's been especially dry in the south and the east, and it's particularly been the case this summer. July was remarkably dry in the south of the UK, for example. And this is the rainfall amount up to this point in the summer. Normally you'd expect 77% of the average, which is this colour here, but much of the UK, especially the east and the south, darker colours in some places, lower than 30% of the summer rainfall so far. Now there will be some rain next week, which is good news for farmers and growers, but it may not be the most productive rainfall. And that's because from Sunday onwards, it comes in the form of heavy showers and thunderstorms. Certainly the first half of next week as low pressure develops across the UK, rising air, the heat still with us at first next week, we're likely to see some intense downpours. Now it may not be the most useful for several reasons. First of all, they're going to be hit and miss, these showers and thunderstorms. Some places will avoid them and stay dry. The other thing is we've got dry ground and intense thunderstorms, well, could lead to flash flooding as the water runs straight off that dry ground. So in reality, what we need to make up for the big rainfall deficit is a lot of moderate rainfall accumulating over several weeks, I think, rather than a few days of intense thunderstorms. So yes, there are thunderstorm and there is a thunderstorm warning in force from Sunday for northern parts of the UK and on Monday for much of the country. But thunderstorms are not necessarily good news as you come into a drought situation. I will keep you updated on those storms, of course, and we'll keep you updated on the temperatures this weekend. You can follow those updates on social media. Bye-bye.